How's it going everybody? Brendan here, aka Slash, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 2 of how to improve your game for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Last week we talked about settings, and this week we're going to be talking about create a class. We're going to go ahead and jump right in by talking about your primary weapon, your gun choice, what your entire class is most likely going to be based around, whatever gun suits your role in the team best. Of course, we got our five usual different classes that we can choose from. Assault rifles, some machine guns, shotgun snipers, light machine guns, they're all there. However, some of the classes are a little bit more versatile than others and can be used in a wide variety of situations rather than really specific roles. So we can go ahead and throw two gun categories out for your creative class. That is sniper rifles. And shotguns and I'm not saying these are bad weapons and if you like to use them you can make specific classes for them however they're really dependent on the map and the playstyle a sniper is always going to be good on a map like carrier or Yemen and a shotgun would not be at all while some machine guns and assault rifles usually can work on any map on the other hand we have a map like slums where snipers won't work so good but shotguns will work really well alongside your submachine guns and assault rifles. Next class we're going to throw out are the light machine guns. Once again, they're not bad weapons and they can be used in certain roles. However, they're usually slow and this is a very fast paced game where the faster you can get on the target and the more you can move around, the better you're going to do. So that leaves us with two gun categories. We have our assault rifles and we have our SMGs. The reason these are going to be our go-to weapons is because they are very strong and can be used in a wide variety of situations. Assault rifles are very good at medium range and are pretty decent at close range, while some machine guns are fantastic close range and pretty good at medium. And in Black Ops 2, most of the maps are going to be all close to medium range. It's just how the Black Ops 2 maps are set up, where your specialty guns aren't going to quite work as well. So. For picking out your assault rifle or some machine gun, you're going to want to try a variety and you're going to want to pick out ones that you're the most comfortable with. For me, I really like the MH as an assault rifle, while for some machine guns I really prefer the PDW, but you can play around with a lot of the different some machine guns and assault rifles and find the one that best fits your role. And it's also important to note, as I mentioned before, it's very map dependent, so one gun that works on one map might not work for you on another map. So you want to base your creative class on the different maps in the game and your different playstyles, whether you're rushing, playing defensive, playing the objective, or slaying. Now we're going to move on to your secondary. Really, if you're even going to use a secondary, which a lot of classes you won't need to at all, I recommend using the B23. It's by far the best pistol and it's a very reliable weapon. But say you're going to use one of those special roll kind of weapons like a shotgun or a sniper rifle. I recommend taking the overkill wildcard and giving yourself another primary weapon. What this is going to do is make it so it expands your class's versatility. In areas where your shotgun just won't reach, you can pull out an assault rifle. Or in, in close range where a sniper rifle just won't do, you can pull out a submachine gun. You can really expand your class by using the overkill wildcard. So you get the weapon you want to use. Now let's talk attachments. And this is, again, really going to be based on your role you're playing and what kind of weapon you're using. For assault rifles, there's three attachments that are always going to help you. The reflex sight, very good for making it so you can click on the targets easier and it really expands your view. Next is going to be fast mags. There's no sleight of hand in this game, and this will pretty much give you sleight of hand every other reload which is pretty nice. And the third one is going to be the grip. A lot of the assault rifles have a good bit of recoil and the grip is going to reduce that to pretty much nothing. Guns like the Type 25, I almost find it to be a necessity. Attachments on a submachine gun are going to be completely different. The number one attachment for a submachine gun is probably going to be the laser, simply because it makes it so you can hip fire a lot, lot more accurate. And in these close range gunfights, Whoever can get that first shot on you first is going to win, and hip firing before the other person can even ADS is going to help you a lot. Alongside the laser sight, another good choice is the silencer. 
Some machine guns already have very limited range, so putting on a silencer isn't gonna really hurt them very much, and it'll make playing a stealth role a lot, lot easier. Now, let's move on to your equipment. For lethal, once again, just like your secondary, you might not even want to use one. You might want to put all your points into your perks, but if you do, my favorite lethal is going to be the Semtex and the Bouncing Betty. Depending on the kind of role you're playing, if you're playing a game type like Capture the Flag, Bouncing Betty's are fantastic. Just throw them in these high traffic areas where people are going to be running flags or even right on the flag, and you're going to pick up kills and help your team defend your flag. If you're playing game types like Kill Confirmed or Domination, I really recommend grenades because you can throw them onto the objective for Dom, and in Kill Confirmed you can just toss them anywhere near their spawn, and you might get a lucky kill. For your tactical, there's really two that pop out. First one is the shock charge. Shock charge is a really, really fantastic one. Not only can you throw it at enemies and it'll pretty much stun them and disorient them, but you can also plant them on the ground, making them probably the most versatile and best tactical equipment in the game. But if you don't have the shock charge unlocked yet and you want to use something different, the concussion's also really good. Of course, be aware that if the enemy team is using tack masks, they're pretty much going to be useless. Next, we're going to be talking perks. In this game, perks can really make or break your class. Kind of like the other Call of Duties, but in this one, it's a little bit more. And it, the perks almost feel like they're necessary to prevent bad things from happening to you rather than helping you do things. For your first tier, Ghost and Flak Jacket are vital. There are so many explosives and there are so many UAVs that these two perks are going to be number one. If you have the perk one wild card, then boom, put them both on, and you're pretty much immune to the most annoying things in the game. Tons of UAVs and tons of explosives. For your tier two, once again, only two perks really stand out. Toughness is gonna make it so when people shoot at you and you're shooting at them, you don't flinch, therefore you're gonna probably win the gunfight. Next is going to be Scavenger. Scavenger is probably a little bit lesser just because I don't really find myself running out of ammo too much. If you're using a lot of equipment, then it's useful because every scavenger pack completely replenishes your equipment. For your perk 3, once again, only really two perks that stand out. Dexterity and Tack Mask. Tack Mask probably more than anything else just because there are so many flashes, concussions, shock charges, etc, etc, etc. Now that we've talked about all the different parts of the creative class, I want to go ahead and share a few of my favorites with you guys. The first one's going to be a good Slayer slash Assault Rifle class. I find this to be useful in just about any situation on any map. I have my favorite Assault Rifle, the M8A1, with Reflex and Select Fire. This is the only gun I use Select Fire on just because it's usually a burst fire weapon and I like to make it fully automatic. For my secondary, we have the B23 really nice reliable secondary. For my perks, I have Flak Jacket and Ghost, really really strong perks as I mentioned before, they make me immune to all the annoying things in the game. For my second perk we use Toughness, really good perk for one on one gunfights, you're gonna win them a lot more often than you would if you didn't have this perk. And finally we have Tack Mask, like I mentioned before, you're immune to all the annoying stuns and concussions and shock charges that are gonna be thrown at you. And then we have a Simtex on, just in case you're playing an objective game type like Domination, you'll be able to toss a grenade on it and get a few kills here and there and be able to defend your flags. Next we have a really good objective submachine gun class. I'm using the PDW with fast mags and quick draw. Really good for getting a lot of ammo on your enemy team. You have 50 rounds in a clip and you can reload faster. Quick draw is just a good attachment for ADSing faster. Not really my best pick for some machine gun, but it's nice in an objective role. Secondary, once again, the B23. For perks, we have flag jacket, so I can jump on objectives without having to worry about grenades. Then we have fast hands, as you can see I'm using Simtex and two concussions. This will make it so I can throw them a lot, lot faster. And of course, tag mass, so I'm immune to all the enemy concussions. Next, we have another submachine gun class. This one is really trying to play into the stealth role using the MP7 with silencer and the laser sight. Really good for getting a lot of lead on target while hip firing. Secondary, got the B23 for perks. Ghost, this time I decided to put on hardline 
just because I'm not really going for the objective so much with this class as I am trying to get behind them and getting my score streak so I'll be able to help my team and destroy the enemy team at the same time. Perk 2, toughness, not bad, however scavenger might also be a good choice for this class. Next we have dexterity, really great when combined with some machine guns and a laser sight because you can recover from sprint and hip fire really fast and be super accurate with that laser sight. And for lethal, some techs just in case, you never know when you might need it. So that does it guys for episode 2 of how to improve your game. If you missed the first How to Improve Your Game, there'll be links and annotations at the end of the video to take you to the playlist. As always, I want to thank you guys for watching, and if you would, please rate the video what you feel is worth. See you guys later, have a good one.